so friends now we will be studying about an important topic that is amplitude resonance so what is amplitude resonance when the displacement amplitude of force vibration is maximum for a particular frequency of the applied periodic force the phenomena is called amplitude resonance so let me write the definition for you all so when the displacement amplitude of force vibration is maximum for a particular frequency of the applied force the phenomena is called amplitude resonance so now let us see the equations and derivations for amplitude resonance so as you all know from the previous derivation that a equal to f by root over omega square minus p square whole square plus 4 k square p square so amplitude a varies with the frequency p of the applied force we, we know that a varies with p now a is a maximum for a particular value of p that is amplitude is maximum for a particular value of frequency for which the denominator of the equation of this equation is minimum so applying simple mathematics we will be seeing that d by dp into omega square minus p square whole square plus 4 k square p square is equal to 0 since the denominator must be minimum or we can write as 2 into omega square minus p square minus 2 p plus 8 k square p equal to 0 or minus of 4 p into omega square minus p square into minus 2 k square equal to 0 or again simplify this we will be getting omega square minus p square minus 2 k square equal to 0 why since p is not equal to 0 p can never be 0 or p square equal to omega square minus 2 k square or we can say p is equal to omega square minus 2 k square whole root over that is equal to let it be denoted as pr since omega square greater than 2k square if this condition pro is provided then we will be arriving at this result hence therefore the cyclic resonance frequency will be given as fr that is equal to omega square minus 2k square whole root over by 2 pi at which amplitude a equal to a max so this will be the condition and values for amplitude resonance so we need to concentrate and see that the angular frequency of the amplitude resonance that is omega square minus 2k square whole root over is less than both the omega that is angular frequency for undamped motion and also it is less than the frequency omega square minus k square whole root over for presence of damping so providing these conditions we can see that a max must be equal to f by 2k into root over p square plus k square please remember this value by heart so where we know that p here is equal to root over omega square minus 2k square so this shows that the maximum amplitude a max depends upon the damping factor k that is a max depend upon the damping factor k the variation of amplitude a with frequency of applied force p for different values of damping constant k that i will be showing in the next diagram so this is a you can see plot of amplitude as a function of applied frequency p so this is the amplitude line this is the 
frequency line and here is the portion of where p less than omega in this line p equal to omega and in this line p is greater than omega so this is the plot for amplitude versus frequency so here we can see this plot of the amplitude resonance now how we can determine the sharpness of resonance or what factors we can say affect the sharpness of resonance so we know that amplitude a is equal to f by root over it is whole root over omega square minus p square whole square plus 4 k square p square we have seen that when the frequency of the impressed force has a value of to satisfy the condition of resonance the amplitude of force vibration is maximum that is a, the value becomes a max that is equal to f by 2k root over p square plus k square so if the frequency of the applied force changes from the resonant frequency that is p equal to root over omega square minus 2k square the amplitude falls and this reduction in amplitude is also more if the damping factor k is small so when the fall in amplitude is large for a small deviation of the frequency from the resonant frequency the resonance is termed as sharp otherwise it is said to be flat so the sharpness of resonance we can say that sharpness of resonance may be defined as the rate of fall in amplitude or reduction in amplitude with the with the change of the frequency of applied periodic force on which side of the resonant frequency so this is the sharpness of resonance so for low damping constant k for low damping constant k that is low k and p equal to omega you can see natural frequency of the vibration amplitude of the force vibration at resonance a max is equal to f by 2 kp again for smaller value of damping factor that is small damping factor k the resonance curve resonance curve is sharper for the change of frequency of the applied periodic force similarly for larger value larger k or that is damping factor the resonance curve is flatter as you all can see from here so these three conditions are to be remembered and understood by heart so we have come to the conclusion of amplitude resonance with these three conditions and these graph and this is the definition for sharpness of resonance now let us come to the velocity resonance so i have already done the curve for you this is the velocity line and these are the conditions as before for the amplitude resonance so this is the variation of velocity amplitude as a function of frequency of applied force so when the amplitude of velocity of the force vibration under the action of impressed periodic force is maximum then the phenomena is known as velocity resonance with the applied force just like the definition of amplitude resonance so if the impressed periodic force on the oscillating body is let it be f naught sine of pt the equation of force vibration becomes x equal to a sine of pt minus phi so hence the velocity of the particle undergoing force vibration can be represented as v equal to dx dt that is equal to ap cos of pt minus phi so what is the peak value the peak value peak value of velocity 
amplitude will be v equal to a p that is equal to f into p by omega square minus p square whole square plus 4 k square p square whole root over where we already know that small f equal to capital F by m so it can be written as f by whole root over root over omega square by p minus p plus 4 k square as p is varied v is also changed when omega equal to p so velocity resonance occurs when the natural frequency of the body is equal to the frequency of applied periodic force so this condition is very important so when velocity res resonance occurs when the natural frequency natural frequency of the body is equal to the frequency of applied force on the body so when p equal to 0 v equal to 0 when p equal to omega v equal to v max so what is the value of v max we all know f by 2k so these are the conditions for velocity resonance and different cases thus we can see that the sharpness of velocity resonance the sharpness of velocity resonance may be defined as the rate of fall in velocity amplitude or reduction in velocity amplitude that we can see from the graph as well as the derivation and uh, deduction with the change of the frequency of applied force so sharpness is the change of velocity amplitude change of velocity amplitude with the change of frequency with the change of frequency of the applied force on each side of the resonance frequency so now we are going to study the last topic that is the electric analogy and the application for in daily basis of the force vibration equation so we know that this is the equation for force vibration and if we can draw an LCR circuit which contains a capacitor an inductor known uh, that is denoted as L and a resistor R then if we supply an AC input then this equation changes down to this form that is the known as the electrical analogy so you can see that if this is the circuit we are building that this is the capacitor this is the inductor and this is the resistor and if here the e equal to e naught into e to the power i p t then to apply this law into this circuit we need to modify the equation here so this is the capacitance this is the resistance and this is the inductance so with this we have come to the end of this topic and as well as this module known as oscillations thank you very much for watching this video let's meet in the next module thank you